in Eminem's song uh, Lucifer on his new album, The Death of Slim Shady, I'm sorry, The Death of Slim Shady, he came at Candace Owens and it is so funny. Oh my God, I love it, dude. Eminem is the sh okay? I love this guy to death. Anyway, just listen to what he says here. And Candace, so I ain't mad at her. I ain't gonna throw the fact that <laughs> forgot she was black back at her. Laugh at her like them crackers she's back in after her back is turned. In a cute MAGA hat with her brand new White Lives Matter shirt. Or say this MAGA dirt bag in a skirt. Just open the biggest can of worms on the whole planet Earth. Call her Grand Wizard, Clandis, or that Grand Dragon. Or like the national anthem, I won't stand for the tramp. Oh man, he, he slammed her so hard. I love that. Apparently she responded to it in the first half of the album when he's being when he's acting as Slim Shady before he kills off the character Slim Shady and says this is embarrassing I don't want to be this person anymore I'm disgusted by how I used to act no nobody is coming after me to cancel me yes I'm allowed to say whatever I want and here's the proof he says it all in the beginning and he isn't canceled. And he says, I just don't want to be a scumbag anymore, basically. That was the point of the whole album. It's called the concept album. So the first half of the album is him being a scumbag. The second half is him killing off that scumbag, canceling himself, quote unquote, canceling Slim Shady, and talking about how he loves his family. His kid, one of his kids, not biological, but like an adopted kid, is non-binary. And he uses the correct pronouns for them and the correct name took on a new name, Stevie. So Eminem is not anti-trans. He's not anti-gay. He's not anti-anything. He's done with being a scumbag and apologizes for it on the album. It's a point. But this part about Candace Owens, this is in Slim Shady mode, where he's, you know, kind of being a douchebag and calling people out. But, you know, in my heart of hearts, I want to believe that he really thinks this way about Candace Owens. I think he does. All right, so listen to Candace Owens clap back if you will first thing i want to say is eminem is obviously a gay man um it's very sad yeah i'm sorry to say i think maybe he is uh, which is good i love that about eminem makes me love him more i'm disappointed because i think candace owens is right about something and that disgusts the fucking shit out of me that eminem cleaned out his closet but never came out of his closet but let's get to these lyrics i'll read them to you he writes or says or raps and candace Dude, what is she looking at? This looks like it's uh, like an old VHS tape or something. Oh, I ain't mad at her. Ah, I ain't gonna throw the fact B-I-T-C-H forgot. She Acting like she's above it. Oh, I can't swear. She was black at her. Oh, laugh at her like them crackers she's back in. He used a slur cracker. Did you hear that? The gall. Moral outrage. Talk about PC police. Talk about trying to cancel somebody for their speech. What happened to free speech Candace Owens? After her back is turned in a cute MAGA hat with her brand new White Lives Matter shirt. Hi yeah, she showed up, if you don't remember this, she showed up to some event with Kanye West and they were both wearing White Lives Matter shirts. This, like, the definition of scumbag behavior. That's white nationalist behavior. These people... Kanye West and Candace Owens. Oh, by the way, Kanye West is a Nazi. And I think Aunt Candace Owens is a Nazi too, though she hasn't come out and said, I love Hitler like Kanye did. That shit's unforgivable, man. That's disgusting. What is wrong with you? It's like uh, Jews for Hitler. Yes, that was a real group that Hitler officially disbanded in 1935. You think they're going to spare your ass when they create their ethno state? No, they are not. A new white lives matter shirt haha <laughs> nope or say this maga dirt bag in a skirt just opened the biggest can of worms on the whole planet earth call her grand wizard yeah clandis haha <laughs> pretty much or grand dragon or like the national anthem i won't stand for the tramp why but i can diss her because my plans are to get in her pants and i'll blow my chance if I answer back to her. Oh, but I again, um, Eminem was doing a piece in this album, this concept album where he was being a scumbag. And then in the second half of the album, he kills off the scumbag and he apologizes to everybody that he's hurt, including Machine Gun Kelly. Really? He apologized to, to Machine Gun Kelly. If you know anything about that whole thing? You'll be surprised by that. He apologized to Ja Rule, even everybody.
He said, I'm embarrassed by what I said before. I'm embarrassed by who that character was. He said all the, the messed up stuff again in the beginning of the album to remind people of who that was. He made fun of everybody, short people, tall people, um, not black people, interestingly. He didn't say a bad word about black people. Deaf, blind, um, handicapped people, everybody, to make a point. So yeah, he was in scumbag mode at this point. I don't stand for that bit about sleeping with her or whatever. But let's listen to her reaction here. Everything else is on point. Quick interjection, this won't take long, I promise. I just want to say I'd appreciate it if you check my Patreon. OwenMorgan.com slash Patreon to find it. YouTube's algorithm goes up and down, so I can never predict where it's going to be. Having patrons gives me some level of stability. Okay, back to the video. Answer back to her. Oh, but I can't diss her because his plans are to get in my pants. Ew, you disgust me. Okay, a um, lot going on here. I think uh, first and foremost, I, I just would like to again remind people that he is in fact a, a struggling internally gay man. And so there's- Yeah, I don't know. I don't believe he's struggling internally about that. No, I think he's come out and say it, said that he's gay, at least in a, in a clip he did. Who cares? That makes him even better. He's the shit. As he said in this satirical clip, it, granted, it, it wasn't supposed to be taken literally. It was satire. He said, I've been leaving a breadcrumb trail of gayness and i'm surprised people haven't caught on to that yet but this guy who has two thumbs and caught on to it this guy right here i found that breadcrumb trail <laughs> she's saying it like it's a bad thing that's one of the things i love the most about eminem there's a lot going happening with eminem and we we should pray for him um on the second point the way that we know that is because he's actually recycling things that black women have said about me on the internet like he's pretending this is original calling me clandis it's not Okay, is, is she saying that this is a racist thing for him to say? And no, yeah, people say that. And it's not black women that say it. It's everybody. People call her Calandis. It's a common name for her. Yeah, because she, she wears a White Lives Matter shirt, okay? She does the same shit and says the same shit that a KKK member says and does. This is like he's just recycling the black women that don't like me on the internet have a lot of names for me. Black women. Oh, my God, dude. She is desperate to bring race into this as much as she possibly can. She wants to make Eminem out to be a racist against black people. That's a one thing he never said. As Eminem says in Criminal, I drank more liquor to fuck you up quicker than you'd want to fuck me up for saying the word. He never says the word, never. He never takes a shot at any black people or anything like that, ever. He takes shots at gay people. He takes shots at trans people, at everybody in his history, but not black people. But she wants to convince you that that's like his main target. Okay, go on. The black women that don't like me on the internet have a lot of names for me, one of them being Candy O. So he's he's like- Okay, I didn't, Candy O, I, I have no idea what that means. I didn't hear him say that. He said Candace O. What does that mean? Watched what they're saying, and I guess someone who was listening to him in the booth was like, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, drop the beat. They're really, 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 really going to like that. Uh I did. Uh, by the way, there's a second song he also dropped. This one's called Bad One. And the lyrics are this about me. Oh, I, I didn't realize that he mentioned her in that song, too. Yeah, this whole subgenre with all these corny white rappers, I'm not a fan of it. It ain't my fault, but like sock puppets, I had a hand in it. This thousand bucks in my hand is just like what Candace did when she turned her back on her own race. Because I have abandoned it. Yes, so um, this is part of Eminem killing off that character, that evil in him that he doesn't like, he doesn't want anything to do with. He says, I had a hand in creating this disgusting mess where people make fun of others and cry about the PC police and everything. I had a hand in this and I got rich from it and I'm disgusted by that. This is the second half of the album. That's what he was saying. Just mad respect for the dude. Seriously, mad respect. Love Eminem to death. Loved him before, love him even more now. If I was gay, which I'm not, but if I were, I'd pick you, Eminem. Oh, oh my, so cool. That's a tough one. That's so tough. The black community. Was somebody implying that he's tough? What? And he's going to be going crazy. Not. I don't think that's going to happen at all. Actually, um, what, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. Just keep listening. I'm doing this because I want to help him go viral because this is sad. 
this is very sad. I want you to feel sad for Eminem, because this is just not the way for someone's career to go down the drain. And I, I want us all to do. Well, he literally named the album The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Gras. The point of the album is that he's killing off this character that made him rich. He's done. None of the songs on there were intended to be listened to individually, really. It's a story from beginning to end, a concept album, which just flew right over her head. Or she's lying about and knows that she's lying. I don't know which. However, there are a couple of songs that could be listened solo and appreciated solo. Evil is pretty good. That's in Slim Shady mode. Um, Fuel has a good hook. Toby is good that one will probably blow i imagine and temporary is a phenomenally good song but will almost certainly will not blow sadly i wish i could listen to some of these with you guys on on air but i can't help make eminem relevant again at the very least and he can be relevant just by me speaking about him he understands that by the way i did tmz earlier as if eminem is the one that needs help from candace owens to be relevant eminem is one of the top selling artists in human history. He is maybe one of the most famous people in human history. He's a household name. Everybody knows Eminem. Does everybody know Clandis Owens? By the way, I did TMZ earlier and they were asking me like, you know, in part though, aren't you honored that someone who is recognized as the greatest white rapper of all time is dedicating all this time to you? And I said no, because it would have meant something if he was at his prime. Uh, as an example, Dave Chappelle, he made a really, honestly, it was kind of a hideous joke about me. I didn't think the joke itself was funny, but I did appreciate the fact that Dave Chappelle, who is the most famous comedian in the entire world. I, mm, I don't know. The most famous comedian in the entire world, Dave Chappelle? No. I would say, uh, oh my God, I can't remember his name all of a sudden, but I know exactly who it is. And I remember his jokes. Um had the seven words you can't say on TV. Carlin, God, George Carlin, that was it. Car George Carlin, yes. He was probably the most famous comedian, I would say. Maybe Robin Williams is more famous. I don't know. Anyway, Chappelle is not the most famous comedian on planet Earth, but okay. Louis Black, I see you mention him. I saw Louis Black. He was walking through Times Square, and I said, Louis Black? And I turned around, and he just kept fucking walking. Just ignored my ass. I was so sad. Jim Carrey's very famous, too. Yeah, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Chappelle's the most famous comedian. Like, what? Do you have any idea how long comedians have been around? At the peak of his career was mentioning me on stage. Like, when he was very sad about George Floyd, and he did this whole skit, and he said some awful things about me, I did have that moment where I went, wow, Dave Chappelle knows who I am. This is not that with Eminem. He is not at the peak of his career. He's at... Okay, no, he's not at the peak of his career, but as he said to Machine Gun Kelly, what was it he said? His biggest, his greatest flop is bigger than your greatest hit. Even at the dip in his career, he's more famous than you by like a lot. In fact, Eminem's more famous than Chappelle, and he's even cooler than Chappelle. Eminem, he is not at the peak of his career, he's at the end of it. Is it Eminem is 100% not gay, he said it in a comedy movie, bro. I know. Yeah, I know that's true. But he did leave a breadcrumb trail of gayness, to be fair. Like, I, I hesitate to play some of the songs because of copyright stuff. I don't want to be shut down or anything, but just listen. This is um, Eminem's song, Medicine Ball, just the very beginning of it. It's my sector. Homosexual dissector. Come again. Rewind selector. I said nice rectum. I had a bisectomy, Hector. So you can't get pregnant if I bisexually wreck you. That's an interesting thing for Eminem to say, isn't it? This album was not well received by critics, but I like it a lot, actually. Anyway, that line right there is an interesting one, in my opinion. Breadcrumb trail of gayness. Anyway, back to Clandis Owens here. Sorry, I get, got distracted. His career should have ended like 15 years ago, and he keeps going. And so this is not a rap. Like he has hit after hit after hit, even with like modern artists. He did stuff with Rihanna that like reached to number one. Monster was one of, love the way you lie. He has busted out insane numbers insane songs incredible stuff he's 
on a downslope because he's reaching like he's had he's been at his peak in his career for so long it was inevitable eventually he was going to be on a downslope for that's at the top he, he's actually doing a he's he's going through a strategy that a lot of new rappers do where they find out who is the big rapper and they start a beef right no no that's not what eminem does who's the big rapper and they start a beef no eminem has always insulted people from day one you remember in the song um the real slim shady i think he says yeah the real slim shady says half you critics can't even stomach me let alone stand me but slim what if you win wouldn't it be weird talking about the uh grammys i think why so you guys could just lie to get me here so you can sit me here next to britney spears shit christina aguilera better switch me chairs so i can sit next to carson daly and fred durst and hear him argue over who she gave Ooh. and hear him argue over who she gave to first he has always insulted or like called out people always like since the very first song he ever did he's talked shit about people right he's like oh i don't nobody knows who i am so i'm just gonna start a beef with candace owens and he's just fading out oh because she's the most popular rapper alive then right okay of the american mindset entirely so this is what he's come up with and i want to say this genuinely the pander here is pathetic he's literally making a plea to the public I hate white people. That's what he's saying. He's, he's calling white people. What? Crackers. Oh my God, dude. No, he's calling your friends crackers, okay? He has aptly recognized that you surround yourself with white nationalist extremists who want black people dead. He has recognized that her husband, the owner of Parlor, is a, a white nationalist. She's like Jews for Hitler in 1935. She she's leading that organization effectively. Oh my God, dude. He's using a slur against his own people while at the same time, unironically, accusing me of doing what he's doing. He's like, she turned her back on her own race as he turns his back on, oh my God. on his race and calls them crackers. I've never used slurs to describe black Americans because I don't have an issue with my race, but you very much have an issue with yours. And the other thing is like, he doesn't even know what his audience is. Again, this feels very, um, maybe could have done something in 2016 when the whole- No, he knows exactly who his audience is. That's what this whole album was like meant to appeal to, his audience specifically. The world was, you know, so anti-Trump and it was the George Floyd moment. He doesn't even understand what's happening. I mean, that conversation has broken in the black community. That's why Trump's numbers are up. Beyond that, I've been on The Breakfast Club. Okay, I don't think that Trump's numbers are up, but okay. Done Joe Budden, like black Americans are following this podcast. They actually like me. I, I went viral on a few of those channels, uh, on Instagram channels the other day because of my conversation with Don Lemon. Wow, viral, huh? That's really cool. Have you sold 227 million albums yet? If not, then you don't even come close to comparing to Eminem. Like not even a little bit, but okay, go on. They're starting to hear what I have been saying because back in 2016, when I was saying Black Lives Matter was a fraudulent organization, people were not ready to listen to that. that no, it, because it was a scumbag thing to say and it was wrong. It's not that people weren't ready to listen. It's that it was actively incorrect. And what happened was they proved that they were a fraudulent organization and people said, hmm, yeah, no, I think Kiss may have been trying to tell us that and she was right and maybe I need to listen to her rather than listen to what other people are telling me about her. God, she is insufferable, dude. And one of those people that they're not going to listen to is you, Eminem, because you're just so irrelevant. Your music isn't good anymore. No, it's, I would say it's just as good as, as it has ever been. It's just not as appealing to a mainstream audience. The dude rhymes when he talks, okay? Just normal talking, not even rapping. He rhymes. Like He came out against Donald Trump not too long ago. Listen to Eminem lay into Donald Trump here. And just listen to him rhyme while he simply speaks. Talking about Trump, I get too flustered in my head and the shit that I want to say, there's there's too many things I want to say at once. So sometimes I start talking and I, and I don't, I'm not able to convey the message the right way because I just- Able, convey, way. Get flustered and frustrated flustered frustrated watching him play to his base play to his base playing off the other words he said a second ago too that thinks that he cares about them 
and it's actually the people that he cares about the least. If you're talking about his core being, you know, a majority white middle class, what I don't understand is how in the f do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire fucking life? I will say this, he talks a good one. And if you're in his base, you're a core, let's say you're going to the rallies or whatever, you watch him on TV, you hear him talking this shit. There's part of me that understands like, all right, he's somehow still got them because he's brainwashing them into thinking that something great is gonna happen. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. I don't know, man. I get, I get really flustered when I talk about it. Anyway, the point is that Eminem rhymes while he talks, okay? Dude is the greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. He doesn't necessarily set up good beats or good hooks. The Real Slim Shady or My Name Is were really, really good beats. And that's one of the things that, like, grabbed people. But the dude used to read the dictionary on his way to work or whatever on the bus. He would sit there reading the dictionary because he wanted to have a... a good repertoire of words anyway it, like people can accuse eminem of all kinds of things but you can't accuse him of not being good and like i said you're the one that's actually cosplaying a race that you aren't you're desperate for black americans to pick up your tracks like eminem gives a shit about any of that eminem won okay he was successful because you abandoned the audience of a lot of people who were listening to your music I'm a trailer park kid, and then what did you do? You dunked on kids from, from the trailer park. You dunked on it. What, what's she talking about? Actually, an entire middle class of white people who loved your music. You dunked on people in the country. For what reason? What the hell is she talking about? What did, when did Eminem do any of those things? For what reason other than you misread the room? And the way and the reason that you misread the room, rather, is because what's actually happened to Eminem is he's an out-of-touch elitist. Yes, this is what happens. He is now a lefty elitist. He belongs. He's a lefty elitist. Like I said, the Slim Shady, the Death of Slim Shady album was about giving up that persona that he crafted as a defense mechanism because he was socially awkward and he didn't know how to like compose himself. And so he kind of created this character who said what everybody else was thinking, as he puts it. But looking back, he's disgusted by it. He do, He's just embarrassed by the things that he said before. But the first half of the album was him talking shit about short people and tall people and fat people and skinny people and blind and deaf and everybody under the sun. Like, what do you mean he's like some leftist? No, he just realized that it's scumbag behavior to make fun of certain things. And he also made it clear that he's not going to jail for saying the shit that he's saying the way that Candace seems to think you will. He's now a lefty elitist. He belongs on a campaign trail with Hillary Clinton when she runs for the third or fourth time. That's what he should be doing because he's pretending to know anything about what's going on. The reality is that a lot of those people in the country that he doesn't like, take it from me, I moved to Tennessee, are have a lot more in common with the people that he's trying to appeal to. I think he, guess, he thinks he's appealing to like, what, the hood? They have a lot more in common because he's a regular He's appealing to his fans. Are you fucking sh me right now? There are people who are suffering in different but similar ways who recognize that the economy is not good and an Eminem track is not going to make it better. Here's the last thing I want to say. So yeah, see, Eminem, he fucked up. He thought he was going to fix the economy with an album. Poor fool had no idea that albums don't fix economies. Should have thought about that, you know? Instead of releasing an album, he should have released a 10-point tax plan that will resolve the, you know, that'll make the rich happy and the poor happy and reduce the wealth gap. Blah, 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 blah. He's releasing albums over here. What an idiot, right? He is a lesson to a lot of people out there that you need to know when it's time for you to retire. You don't want to retire on this note, right? Eminem is 51 years old. He has not modified his brand at all. He's not grown up. Dude, are you kidding me? Of course he's modified his brand dramatically. And also... That's what this album was about. It was about killing off his original persona and changing who he is. She's just like being a scumbag here for no reason and seemingly in misinterpreting everything that he said or just making things up entirely. What do you mean he's 
shitting on trailer park kids. Like what? Most people know that you, you do have to evolve your brand, right? You can even see this as just one example. My like he hasn't evolved his brand? Miley Cyrus. Like in 2016, or maybe a little bit before, she was like shaking her butt. Uh, we can't stop twerking, and now she's cleaning it up, and she's singing music that's still catchy, but it's not so crass. Because, and she's actually giving interviews saying that you know this is who I was because I wanted to break out of the Disney shell, and this is who I am, and this is where I'm going. And I don't think she gets it right all the time, but I can at least recognize that she's evolving. Dude, I wish I could play some Eminem music on here just to show the juxtaposition between his old stuff and his new stuff. This specific album, Coup de Gras, was intentionally like his first albums because he was killing off that character that he created with his first album. It was supposed to be like his first one. But he's done all kinds of stuff that's newer, and he's even paved new roads. Like, he didn't copy you know, the style that's popular today or whatever. You know, rap has come in different forms over the generation. So you've got the Eminem generation from like 98 to, all right, let me start even further back. You've got the Tupac generation. The You've got even the, the MC Hammer generation from in the 90s, early 90s. And you got the Eminem generation from like 98 to 2006. And then you've got the Rihanna generation that was more of a mix of like pop from 06 to 2014 and through all of that eminem was still releasing new innovative different things he was participating in that generation's music but like monster with rihanna for example or love the way you lie but he's also doing his own thing like rap god like uh doing fast-paced unique stuff and then you've got the Post Malone era, where it's, um, it's very poppy, and it, and it focuses more heavily on the beat. And the words are really short like this. Eminem did some stuff like that. You can hear that in the song I Mean It by g Easy too. That's, that's a style that's just coming to an end, or is still kind of in trend right now a little bit. And Eminem did some of that on his new album, but it was really meant to be like his first albums so i don't know what she's talking about like does she even listen to rap at all has she ever listened to eminem like literally ever not only has he evolved and followed a trend but he's also created his own path and carried the rap genre along with him on that path i have no idea what she's talking about eminem's not evolving he, he still thinks that he's a 13-year-old boy who is rapping in his room. Bro, that's literally what the, the album was disproving. Did she listen to it? And that somehow people are going to find that appealing when in reality, he's 51 years old. His daughter, or maybe he's older than 51, his daughter has just gotten married, which means that Eminem should be behaving more like a potential grandparent. That's what the album was about. That is literally the subject of this concept album. He's granddad. This is, this is granddad shady. You know what I mean? But granddad is not acting like a granddad. I'm going to need granddad to start acting like a granddad and not producing this trash to pander to the black community. That's what I want to say on that point. As if he needs to pander to the black community. Anyway, colossal scumbag, dude. I What is wrong with Candace Owens? She's just like a terrible person, you know? The things that Eminem said in his song about her are just fortified in my mind now. Clandis Owens. Disgusting. Tell me what you think.